Okay then, so in the last lesson, we fleshed out this index function inside the ninjas controller and we hooked that up to the route right here, forward slash ninjas, by using this syntax. So we're going to do the same thing in this lesson, this time for the other two routes that we've got, which is forward slash ninjas, forward slash create, and then also this one, forward slash ninjas, forward slash ID, where ID is the wildcard. So this one right here is going to be for the show function down here, where we automatically get the ID, remember? as an argument, same as this function. And this one is gonna be for the create function right here. So let's do the show one first of all. So I'm gonna grab this thing right here, this return statement, and I'm gonna cut it from here. And I'm gonna paste it inside the show function right here. Okay, so this time we don't want to send in a ninja, We uh, an ID, sorry, we wanna send in a ninja so we can show that. And We'll call this ninja over here. Now we need to grab that ninja from the database and we can do that by saying ninja is equal to and then the ninja model, so uppercase N, and then we'll use a method on this called find or fail. Now this find or fail method automatically serves up a 404 error if it fails to find the ninja. So we don't have to manually handle it, which is nice. So all we're going to do is pass in the ID, which we get automatically as an argument in this function, into this one. So that finds us the ninja. We store it in this variable, and then we're passing that through into the view. Awesome. So that was easy enough. Let's now do the same thing for the create one. And the create one is even simpler. We're just going to grab that, which returns a view, and we're going to paste it right here. That's all we need to do. No data involved. We're just returning the create view. Eventually, there's going to be a web form on there and we will be passing some data in here later on. But for now, we're just going to return the view. All right, so this should all work and we can try this out in a browser now. In fact, no, we can't because we need to hook up those routes to those controller functions. So much like we did up here, we're going to add in an array. So let me paste that in as a second argument here. All we have to do is update the function names. So this one's going to be create and then I'm going to paste it in here as well. And this one is going to be show. And that's all there is to it. OK, so let me save that. And now let's try this out in a browser. All right, so let's try out the create page first of all by clicking this link. And that works. And then we'll try out the show page by clicking on one of these view details buttons. And hmm, doesn't work. And we get an error, undefined variable ID. And that's because we're now passing the actual ninja object into the view and not the ID anymore. Now the view itself just shows the ID, but we don't have access to that anymore because we don't pass that ID directly into the view. We have a ninja object. So now let's flesh out the layout or rather the template for this show view. All right, so let's go into resources, then into views, then ninjas, and then it's this one right here, show. So let's get rid of this line and instead we'll replace this with the ninja name. So double curly braces and then we want the dollar sign ninja, which we have access to now, by the way, because we pass in that ninja, uh, ninja value. And then we want a property on that object, which is the name. So we can say we want the name value. And by the way, I'm just going to go back to the index view because remember when we passed in an array of ninjas before we access the properties using square bracket notation. That's how we grab the values when we have an array. But now we have an object, we can still use this syntax, but more commonly you'll find this little arrow syntax is, uh, instead to grab the properties from the object. So this would be the ID and this right here would be the name like so. So I'm just going to update that. All right, so let's go back to the show view and carry on with this. So below the H2, I'm actually just going to paste in a bit of a template. So you'd have to watch me type this out. So we have a div with a couple of classes. Then we say the skill level is the ninja skill right here, the skill property. And then about me and under that, we output the ninja and then the bio property. So that's all there is to it. I'm going to save this now, make sure everything works. All right, so everything still works on the index, even though we've just updated that syntax a little bit, which is fine. Now, if we go to one of these details pages, we see all the details of that ninja. Awesome. So this, my friends, looks like it's all working.